Check the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekends. Cats can't see me. Easy. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, share, and all that. Um, yeah. Appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Today, I've got a legend, an icon, someone that's put a lot of money in a lot of people's hands. He's put. He's helped careers. He's pushed careers. He is somebody that is. Um, he's shot money XL. God damn it. Yes, 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 yes. In the building. And he's Haitian. Zo God in the building. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so what you been up to? Yo, we create, man. We stay creative, man. That's my passion, making music, man. That's what I'm up to, man. Making music and, and just loving the business still in a space of creating, you know, new space for new artists to get out here. Do you have a roster of artists that you're, that you're uh, managing or, or, or uh, around right now? Yeah, no, I don't manage no artists no more. I just really produce them, and I got an indie label where I kind of break them through the market. What's the label? Uh, teamwork Music. Oh, nice. It's been Teamwork since 1999, man. Nice. Yeah, man, Teamwork. So why, why'd you decide to go in that direction? You know, because I was at the labels doing all the A&R stuff, and um, after Bobby got arrested and I got fired at Epic, kind of changed my perspective of working for the companies. And mm -hmm. I just said, like, let me do this from the outside instead of being inside these buildings, acting like we going to take care of you and fix it. And, they you know, I'm promising artists we're going to make their life better, and then that happens, and then it gets crazy. So I kind of needed to separate it from the industry for a little bit. And Why do you think they let you go? Yo, honestly, um, it came down from the corporate side. So, you know, L.A. was my big homie, L.A. Reed. Shout mm -hmm. out to L.A. Reed. And they kind of put the pressure on him, so kind of, kind of, somebody had to take the fall for it. Gotcha. It's almost like, you know, a and r has got to be social workers or something. Like, we got to know the artist's history or what mm -hmm. they crime, like what you got prize. I ain't asking Bobby all of that, no. so I didn't know to do that. So Sony at the time, they were getting a lot of pressure from different things happening. So somebody had to get to take the L for it, and it was me. Gotcha. You know what I mean? And unfortunately, you know, you know that that cost the job. But you know, but we we still at it though. You know what I mean? So, uh, do you feel you're in a better place mentally now? Absolutely, bro. I had to because you know this industry will shrink your mind, man. Hey, it, it, it'll mess you man. up. It'll mess you up. So for me mentally, I had to take a break, step out. You know, I did some management a little bit, then seeing you know seeing that perspective again. I said, you know what? I just love making music, man. So let me just keep finding these new artists as well as the ones out here, you know, that I've been working with, J. Cole and uh, Mike Mac Miller, rest in peace, and a few mm -hmm. other ones that I've been producing for. Come um, on, go, hit the names. Let, keep, let them know the names. I mean, you know, we done started from Snoop Dogg, Busta Rhymes, Tupac. Told you he was a legend. Uh, man, Carl Mega, 50 Cent, G-Unit, the whole, you know, everything in Queens. We we brought Queens back. Queens and, get and the money. Queens get the money I'm not from sure, Queens. Man. I just know that's the same. And, it's like a model. You know, and a whole bunch of new artists that's coming now, that's coming out of Queens. Shout out to my boy King Soul, DB9, oh. my homie Sandy Benjamin. So just new things that I'm, that I'm working on. Um, you know? I have this segment I'm about to pop off soon, and I, I want to I want to reach out to you and those artists to see if we could do something. I'll talk to you about it, man. Okay. I'm all here for that. I, 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 I see, like that. I see your support for new talent and new music. I've been I, doing it for I a long see that. time. Salute you for that, man. Listen, uh, y'all been listening to the radio. You, I see Lola Brooke out here. That's right. If you go and watch the interview, how long ago was Lola Brooke interview? I was screaming her back then. then. Y'all just caught up now. What's that, two years that record came? Almost. Yeah. Shit. Almost. And nah, the early support is very important because it's hard for these artists to break in this market right now. Fuck with the ones that fuck with you, God. That's right. So I'm trying Salute. to tell y'all. Salute. With the label and the artist now, how do you feel about the the temperature of music and hip-hop right now? Because it, it feels like, and this is no shot at anybody, it feels like the ladies are running it. Yes, the ladies are running it. So salute to all the female rappers out there because they definitely are running it. I'm going to tell you the temperature for my my vision, especially with trying to sign some of these artists to the labels. After Bobby, I said, all right, we done did the street shit enough. I done G-Unit, everything. Mm -hmm. Let me find some more conscious rappers that's saying something. They're actually going to put something into this world that we Go need ahead. to listen to, right? So once I started bringing that to the labels, they was like, nah, man, nah. But we knew, nah, we knew you knew that. They don't even want to see that. They want to see the one that's possibly the success formula is jail in a few years or, or death in a few years. That's what they want to sign. Okay, all you right. So I mean? I, shit, my wife is going to be mad at me if I don't ask it. Okay. So um, these labels, do they honestly take life insurance policies out on these artists and are in hopes that if this nigga dies, they collect it? If you allow them to, they will. Some have, some are, but not the artist. The artist, that's based on the contract and your and your power between the negotiation. Some are doing that. Absolutely are. Wow. Yes, yeah, true. See, babe, there you it's go. True. 
It's a fact, and it's it's a fucked up fact because that shit should be on your family. Yeah. I'm sorry for the cursing. Yeah. yeah. It should be for the family. You know what I mean? So it's like, why are you taking out life insurance on them? Because they understand what they're doing. They only want to find those artists that's putting the that 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 energy that's out there that's that's not that's not good for right now. You mm. know what I'm saying? We done, we done did that too long in hip-hop. Right. We got to change the frequency right now. I can't not ask you about the whole situation with you and 50 Cent. Yes, sir. After being the, the I wouldn't call it the leader, but but one of the... the co-founders. Co-founders. Uh, co-founders and president of G in the records. How did you guys get fallout? So, you know, you know with Fifth, you got to watch the clock, man. He's, he's a cancer. He's, he's, he's gonna, sensitive he's like gonna me. He's going to fall out with everybody. If you check his records, he's down there fell out with everyone. Mm. I done been times when, you know, I done fixed problems where he was falling out with the artist before he fell out with me. So it's just like the hand on the clock. It's just going to be a matter of your time when it's going to be a fallout. And we had a fallout where it was based on ownership of the company, you know? Mm. And um, at the time, you know, we, we, we sat in the basement and said, yo, you help me do this, we're going to do this together. And then when it came time to do it, he didn't want to do it that way. So that's when I just stuck around for enough, enough time to make enough money. And, and of course, my royalties that I make to this day, uh, which he put a story out, which is not the true story. Um, so, But we put the work in, and he wanted the ownership. So now he got 100% of it. But after I left, nothing else came out. So in my eyes, that's 100% of nothing. nothing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I put out all the records, executive produced it. Brought Young Buck to the table, helped bring game to the table, and we founded that Gina thing together. But, you know, Fifth just be, he want to stand on his own. That's the solid man that he is, and I respect it. And even to this day, we done did so much history and greatness that I'm over that part. It's not even a beef. We just, we parted ways. You gotcha. know what I mean? He wanted his ownership. He got his company to himself. I needed to do my thing. I need a piece of what I'm doing. I'm not just working. You know what I mean? Because I told him, like, I could stay working for my family business Instead of and where something I own with my family, instead of working for someone where I don't own nothing, because mm-hmm. I'm not into that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm into ownership. Ownership is everything. It's, it's, it's everything. And I own my masters. I got my points. I got all of that. So all those stories is not factual. But shout out to 50, because I knew he was going to be who he is now. And I said it, and I believed in it when no one else believed in it. And they were telling me, stay the hell away from him, because he going to get, you know, and I still rocked with it. But, you know, 20 year anniversary this next month. Mm. Shout out to Get Rich or Die Trying because we got rich and we ain't Die Trying. Amen. See, that that's the clip right there. Yeah. That's you know? the clip. Shout out to Shout Money XL. Yeah, it's a sit right, down. Bro. It's a guy. We still to this day, baby. Shout out to him for that. So, you know, it was just a fallout, man. But we moving on. It's 20 years later, man. We just, Absolutely. You know what I mean? You can't hold on to that. You got to grow up. And you got a label now. Yeah. You got other artists. Yeah, we you, got you... other things going on. I'm And I'm trying to produce. Like, I just shouted out J. Cole today on his birthday. He told me send him a link. You know what I mean? So I'm like here sending out. French hit me the other day on FaceTime. Shout out to Rick Steele. Like, I'm just trying to get active making music again, you know? Mm. Well, that's listen, it. However way I can help you, I would love to. That's right, man. That's this. This you helped me reach the audience. That's yes, it. Shout out to all my Haitians, all my Zos, all the Zos out you there, Zos, Gars, Zotrons. Um. So, anything else we need to speak about before I let you go? Anything you want to promote? Yo, or, or man, put out there? I just want to shout out my family business, Lebon Payne Bakery. You know what I'm saying? We got a Haitian bakery in Queens. You know what I mean? Hold I, on. <laughs> don't tell. Oh my God. <laughs> You were supposed to bring the some Haitian patties. patties? Yes, oh, sir, oh man. my God! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, hold on, time out. Damn, son. Well, I just shouted this man that he ain't bring me no patties. I know, God. man. I, didn't, I, didn't, I came straight from LI here, man. I drove it's, right there. Give man. him the address because we gonna have to pull up. Nah, I got you, man. I know, knowing you as old, bro, I got you, man. For no, real. shout out the address. Let these people know because if they're in the Queens area, they gotta come Jamaica see it. Jamaica Avenue, man. LeBron Payne Bakery, man. That's where we at, man. One more time. Haitian culture right there. 21163 Jamaica Avenue, Queens Village, New York. Man, shout out to my family. Yeah, man. We, you know, rest in peace to my pops. He just passed away too on the thirty first. You know, condolences, my brother. And, and that's that's the owner, co-founder. Of that you know, Got built you. the format for us to to stand on today. You know, nice. So it's not just music. It's other things we doing. You okay. Know? So what else are you doing? Yeah, you know, I'm doing that. We we okay. putting the breads in this. We putting the Haitian brands in supermarkets. That's what Ooh. we do. That's what it's about. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people don't know the brands that we own. We don't really own. You know what mm-hmm, I mean? Mm-hmm. They are using our name. They think it's it ain't Haitian owned. So it's all about putting more cultural food in the markets, man, on the shelves. I'm so happy I met you on Money XL, guys. <laughs> this is the first time Likewise. I met him, and I promise you, you're going to see us together in a different plethora of ways. <laughs> I promise you. I love, I love my zones, I love my Thanks. people, and I love Thank great you. energy. You give me great energy, and I feel like you're doing greatness. 
and Thank I want to be around you. Bro. Likewise, bro. Appreciate this opportunity, man. Thanks Absolutely. for having me. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you follow, subscribe, and be a part of everything Shot Money X Scripts doing. in the building, yeah. Let them know, know how to follow you and be a part of the way. Yo, follow and, me. And how can artists contact you if they want to be a part of the label? <clears throat> Yo, Shot Money Motivation on Instagram. Hit me there. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to vibe with it. You know, you got to be special, though, man. And you got to be really talking to the people, man, not just talking nonsense, man. Mm. You know, so, but I'm there. You follow me on Instagram, and then you check me out right there. All right? Shout money motivation. Listen, the sit down is all about opportunity and building bridges. This is what I do here. Don't act like I don't, I just, I'm new here. You're new here. Shout money excels in the building. He's gonna. He's out here for the culture as well. Thank y'all yeah. for listening. Shout money again. Thank you for, for, for coming through. Me. Chain on the bike, on the way. Let's yeah, go. we out here, baby. Sit down. Come and catch the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekends. Cats can't see me.